Hello, this is Carla Scarf. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to open files, how to save them under different formats, and how to close them when you are finished. When you open up Adobe Photoshop, depending on which version you have, your screen might look like mine or slightly different. There are different methods of opening your image. For the newer versions, you might see thumbnails of all your most recent projects, in which case you can simply double click on an image to open it. On the left side, you might also see a button that says open. If you click on that, then you can choose which image to open. Another method is to go up to your menu bar, go to file, open, or pay attention, there is a shortcut that says control O, which is my preferred method. Next, you will get a navigator window. Use this navigator window to na go over to the folder that contains your pictures. In this case, I'm gonna go to the downloads folder and I am going to select this image here. If you don't see images, if you only see a list of names, you can change how your list of pictures looks by clicking on the top right hand corner and changing it to extra large icons. Once you locate the file that you want, simply double click on it. I'm going to open a second file now by using Control O. This time I'm going to go to the pictures folder to locate my file. I created a folder called Harry Potter. Here's my file. When you open up multiple files, they are opened as docked images, meaning that they are stuck at the top. To bring each image down, simply click on it, drag it downward into your workspace. To resize the window, click and drag on the top right hand corner so that the image fits on your screen. If the image is too large to fit on the smaller window, go and grab your zoom tool which is on the bottom left or the shortcut is the letter Z. Click on the window, hold down your Alt key and click until you see the image. Now I am ready to save my images. Begin by selecting the image that you want to save. Go to File save as or use the shortcut shift control s next you need to pick the location where you will save your files be consistent then you should give your file a name that you're going to remember it is a good idea to come up with a system for naming your files I'm going to add a letter A to this because it is version A in the future I might have a version B or a version Z I'm going to do the same thing with this file. File, save as. This time I want you to pay attention to where it says save as file type. By default, Photoshop saves your file as a Photoshop file, meaning that all of the layers will be there next time that you open the file. When you are finished working with your file and you have saved it as a Photoshop file, it is time to create an image to share with the world. At this point, we are ready to create a JPEG. A JPEG is a universal file. We're gonna go to File, Save As, or Shift Control S. Save As Type, this time I'm going to choose JPEG, and then I'm going to click Save. At this point, Photoshop will ask you if you want a, an image that is large size or small size. I usually prefer to have large files that are higher quality. Where it says quality, you can input the number 12 or you simply drag the slider to the right. Click OK. Now you should have multiple versions of your file. One is a Photoshop version with all the layers and one is a JPEG image which can be shared online, texted, etc. Let's go see how those images compare. You will see that I have several files in here. The file that says PS is a Photoshop file with multiple layers. The file that simply looks like an image, that is a JPEG, which can be shared with the world. In the future, when I want to keep editing my file, I will simply double click on the Photoshop file to open it back up in Photoshop. To close my image after I have saved it, I go File, Close, or I can click Control W. 
and that concludes our tutorial for today.